Welcome back, everybody, to Microbe Peeps. Uh, today we're going to be peeping at this little ciliate, I think some sort of a Frontonia species, and he has gotten himself into quite a pickle. Uh, when I first saw him, I thought he was feeding or something because he was being very still, sort of attached to this little piece of detritus. But very quickly, I noticed that he was in a lot of trouble. Something which is under this piece of detritus has gotten a hold of him. And right here, you can see that he rips himself free. Now, as I hurry to adjust my focus and try to keep up with the little guy, I'm really in his corner. I really thought that his membrane would repair itself and he'd be okay. By the way, as I adjust the focus here, doesn't it look like he has an eye and a mouth? Like some sort of whale or something? Anyway, as I continued to follow uh, this little guy around, I pretty quickly noticed that he's not going to be okay. So I decided to go to a lower magnification so that we could see more detail and at least stay with him for the last few moments of his life. Plus, we get to satisfy some of our morbid curiosity about what exactly happens when a microbe's membrane just starts to evaporate. By the way, you'll notice that this Frontonia, he actually spans almost the entire width of the viewable area here. So I've measured that, and he spans a little over 300 microns, which is about one third of a millimeter. So even though I call him that little guy, he's really not that small. Through the rest of the video, if you watch closely the cell membrane, you'll see that little by little, it completely breaks down until there's pretty much nothing left holding this guy together. While we watch this process unfold, uh, we can talk a little bit about Frontonia species. Uh, Frontonia species, they're closely related to members of the genus Paramecium. However, uh, Paramecium are bacteriovores, uh, which means they feed mostly on bacteria. Frontonia, on the other hand, they're not so picky about their food. Uh, they will eat most anything, uh, from bacteria to diatoms, algae, amoebas, and even in some circumstances, they'll cannibalize each other and eat other Frontonia. In fact, you can see some of the food remaining in this little guy as he completely comes apart. Mostly what we're seeing here are different types of algae and bacteria. This guy's membrane is now completely gone, as you can see, and the cell has died. But it has been something interesting to observe. If you've enjoyed this video, I hope that you can give it a like, and I'd really love it if you could subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time.